Okay, this is where I got married. Daniel, mm -hmm. I went from this Diane Ashley to Aunt Cleanliness. What was Aunt Cleanliness? Camera guy's sister. Camera guy went in and grabbed great grandpa Niles Rignell and made it's in the blood for a white shadow guy. Okay, Aunt Cleanliness does what? This house mess here. To, it's super fucking clean, and we stayed awake all night to bust Daniel Hatcher smearing a booger on the couch just to scream at him and be like, don't lie to me, don't lie to me, because we can sleep talk, and he could not. And it was like, don't spoil the baby. Aunt Cleanliness is very powerful, was willing to kill my dog over cleaning the house. Okay, and we attributed ourselves to we're like a female Sean Troyer biker guy. Uh, take your shoes off at the door, keep clean carpet, but he's the type of guy, I mean, he hates women, but he'll have a barbecue and he likes to go artifact hunting, you know, smoke a bud doobie, and like, he can steal <sighs> a line and get away with it, and he's not considered a druggie. You know, he's still a clean, wears khakis, Works a good job, has a motorcycle. Oh, wow. Anyway, we don't want to become at cleanliness, so we're staying a little extra dirty. Okay? And um, it feels like this would be sex club or sex addicts anonymous type, type of matchmaking. You know, there's no nasty here, you know? Nothing's too yucky for anybody. There's somebody for everybody. Versus what? Movie star. Being good enough for a movie star, man. Oh. <laughs> okay. And still want to be more than a dog's chew toy as a fuck thing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to feel like a dog's chew toy. <laughs> I'm still a virgin. But I've been a prostitute. I know what it takes, but like to feel it, you know, I kind of, I don't want to be a nun. I, I, I'm like a deadly form of, I'd do anything just to feel it. But I still don't want to be, I don't want to be depressed when I get it. Do I have to have a trash junk? No. Nah. Nah. Nah, you don't. Not really. Okay. Well. So here's a. Whatever we got. It's kind of a belly shape. It's still wrinkly. I'm, but it's more than, like, whatever I've ever been in before in my life, okay? But, so it's, like, tacky, I'm old, had babies, whatever. Um, and I still, I need a shower, but a shower doesn't work here. Um, there's no hot water. It, it might be the heating element. I mean, there's no clicking it back on. It doesn't even turn on. I gotta call the maintenance guy. Um, yeah, and this uh, heater here. Uh, that old heater. I have no heat for this winter time. So we said we're probably gonna be dead or in jail if we don't get the maintenance guy to fix this normal. Oh, <laughs> Okay, that means what? I'm definitely going to be dealing with people. I'm going to be like a Sean Troyer. I'm not a junkie. I'm not a junkie. I can live a normal life. Right. What was it about James? Um, James is a sex addict and... We got ourselves to stay on business time and family time of, like, prostitution. James had women from Dollar General meeting him on his work hours. 
wasting my time. It wasted my time. And everybody that helped hide it from me. Oh. We should have just been honest. So someone could have a life. And it went to drug dealers as well. How? People. Everybody. It was like everybody was possessed by the higher spirit of James. That we were spying to get a man in trouble. Instead of have our own life. Like we were his slave for all time. Oh man. That really sucks. We weren't even married yet. We were engaged. We should have. have we definitely have a right to know. Because was we marrying a lie? Right. So this guy is being more honest. This is definitely a more honest guy. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. That's respect. To me, this guy is respectful enough to be honest. You're welcome. <laughs>